Hello everyone, I'm Giovanna and today I'm going to talk about uh, superfoods and supplements that I personally take. Some of you have asked me to talk about this subject, so today I'm basically just going to show you some of the superfoods that I have here at home. There's so many superfoods out there, <laughs> so today I'm just going to talk about a few of them. My personal favorite, I do use these superfoods, but I don't like to use them so much on my recipes because it's a lot of ingredients that people normally can't find in a regular supermarket. And my goal is for you to just eat more fruits and veggies. I don't want to make it harder for you. Uh, but as we see more and more of these products being sold out there and being more accessible to everyone, it's easier for you guys to get them if you want. So I'm basically gonna go by fruit, roots, protein powders, greens, and supplements, okay? So let's start. First uh, is the cacao. So cacao is a tree and there's the cacao fruit. The cacao fruit is not sweet, it's a bit bitter. It contains caffeine, so it's great to boost energy if you're looking for that. It's a great substitute for coffee and it tastes like chocolate, so it makes any smoothie or smoothie bowl taste delicious. Delicious. The cacao comes in various forms. There's cacao butter, there's cacao paste, and there's even cacao nibs, which is which are the ones that I have. These cacao nibs you can also add like to your smoothies or in a trail mix or just eat them by themselves or make into a chocolate, whatever you want. An alternative to cacao that does not contain caffeine and is not a stimulant is carob powder. So carob also comes from a tree. It looks kind of like a tamarind. It's not. It's long and it's hard. It's like a hard fruit. So it's made into a powder form and it has a taste kind of like chocolate too. So it's good. I like it. This is sachayin chi, which is very high in protein. And as you can see, it comes from like a pod like this, like a star shaped pod. And it has a nutty flavor, which I personally like. And here is goji berries. So as the name you can see, uh, berries. They're very high in magnesium. They're bittersweet and you can also add them to smoothies or with fruit or just eat them by themselves. Uh, they are also a good source of A vitamins, of B vitamins. Here we have kamu kamu. Kamu kamu is a fruit. It's a berry actually, and it contains more than 240% of the recommended vitamin C that we need in a day. So with just with a teaspoon, you'll have that. Here we have lucuma powder. So lucuma is also a fruit. I actually tried it in Peru for the first time this year and it's so sweet and creamy like it has a custardy taste it's really really good and it's made into a powder format and it's very rich in essential vitamins so this with banana tastes really good Kamu Kamu is great with orange juice. Here we have acai. So a lot of you guys know acai. It comes also frozen. This is the powder format. It's very rich in antioxidants and omegas. So you can add it to smoothies or smoothie bowls, however you want. Now uh, we have the roots. So maca powder. Maca comes from a root. Maca is known to be very energizing. It comes from South America, from Peru. Warriors, it's said that they used to use it before like long journey so it's it's very known to give you lots of energy and it also helps uh, women uh, balance out their hormones so it's great for menopausal women or anyone who is having menstrual issues here we have moringa powder so moringa powder comes from a leaf and is very detoxifying just like all other greens it has a strong taste uh, I personally like to use it like if I'm making a guacamole I'll just add a little bit of moringa I've done that and you can barely taste it and you're getting added nutrients so it's great here we have turmeric turmeric is super anti-inflammatory you can basically use it on anything you can sprinkle it on your salads or dressings or even in smoothies just make sure to not use that much a little goes a long way and it adds a really pretty color now we have matcha so matcha is also a leaf it's a tea it's made into a tea format a lot of people drink it as a tea it contains caffeine it's a kind of stimulant it's a great substitute for coffee you can take it in your smoothies or with almond milk or with just with water and I personally really really like the taste and here we have spirulina spirulina which is also very high in protein is a great uh, immunity and energy booster so if you're someone who's just starting on this lifestyle and you feel like you need that plus of energy like fruits and vegetables are not enough then any of these supplements can work I mean not any of them like choose the ones that you need but spirulina is a great one 
here, for example, is uh, the brand Garden of Life, and there's other brands that make this as well. It's basically like a green blend. So you get a lot of greens, probiotics, fruit, uh, made into a powder format, and you can just use a scoop, put it in your smoothies, and you have all those nutrients and vitamins. The great thing about supplements is that now with the soil not being the same quality as years back, a lot of the fruit that is harvested doesn't contain the nutrients that it used to contain. So that's why a lot of people like to take these supplements because you're just adding nutrients to, sadly, the fruit that is grown on depleted soil. All right, so now I'm moving on to protein powders. I recently started to take protein powders ever since I started lifting more weights, and I honestly feel good and I like the taste. So here is one Sun Warrior, which uh, is a uh, raw and vegan. All of these are vegan, of course. And the base of most of these protein powders is gonna be pea protein and brown rice protein. Mixed with hemp seed protein, sachain chi, maca, they can even add greens. You can really add whatever you want. These proteins are basically a blend of plant-based protein and other added superfoods to make it more nutritious. Some other brands are Vega. You've probably seen this at Whole Foods. Uh, the chocolate Chocolate flavor is honestly my favorite. And what I like about this one is that it contains a few things that I like, like hemp protein, it also has broccoli, kale, greens, it has some dehydrated mushrooms, herbs, is good. I like it, personally like it. This one, Garden of Life, is another brand that is very popular out there too, and this is a meal. So this is basically, you blend this with bananas, dates, coconut water, or almond milk, and you have yourself a meal replacement with lots of vitamins, minerals, and protein, antioxidants, probiotics, everything really that you need for that meal. It's great for people, I think, that are on the go. If you're someone who wants to really just start eating healthier, but just going to the supermarket, buying fruits and vegetables, it's too complicated for you, then maybe some of these options can work. Amazing Grass is the fourth brand that I personally like. This brand, you're gonna see it more uh, commercialized. I think you can even find it in Target. It's very easy to find. And I personally like the original flavor and the vanilla flavor. This one, for example, Example has alfalfa, barley grass, spinach, spirulina, the protein blend, like I said, like pea protein, hemp protein, chia, quinoa. The other brands of proteins are also gonna contain quinoa, which is very rich in protein. There's a lot of brands out there, but these are basically my favorite. Now we have hemp protein. This is one that I personally really like. It comes from hemp seeds. I like to put it on my fruit um, when I'm traveling, when I'm on the go. That's when I usually consume these super foods and supplements. Okay, so now going on to supplements. The three supplements that I personally take more on a regular basis are vegan B12, because it's said that you can only find B12 in meat, which is not true because 39% of the population is deficient in vitamin B12. Why? Because people are not eating whole foods. There's lots of vegans that don't take B12 and that are completely fine, but I personally like to be sure. So I will take it like every other day or sometimes every day, depending if I'm traveling a lot, I'll just, I'll take it every day. This one is vitamin D3. And vitamin D, we basically get it from the sun, but we really have to be out in the sun for like 20, 30 minutes, have our skin exposed to the sun because that's where it gets absorbed on our skin. Sometimes I am not outside, so I like to take that vitamin, especially if you're living like in a cold, place where the sun doesn't come out as much, then you want to take a vitamin D. Uh, Omega-3. So this one is basically an alternative to fish oil and, and krill oil. So it's vegan. It comes from an algae base. The body actually absorbs this type of omega-3 better than the one from fish oil. And this one comes from the algae. So for example, this is what fish eat. So basically you're eating the source, so it's even better. All right, you guys, so these are a few of the supplements. Like I said, there's so many of them. And I would love to know what you guys think about supplements. And I would also love to know if you guys want me to use uh, more of these supplements in my recipes. And if there's any supplements that you personally like, 
one that I didn't mention. I would also love it if you share it with us in the comments. Thank you so much. Before you're gone, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And also subscribe to my website, ravana.com, to get a free food combining chart. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and Twitter, Snapchat, all at Ravana, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Love.